Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. As it's become customary, a new year means another check-in on the farming rates for all of the civilizations in Age of Empires 2. Farming bonuses are important, of course, and it's no wonder the top three civilizations by win rate all have great farm bonuses. Well, two out of the three. This year we've had Definitive Edition released, and I just want to confirm that all the odd civilization exceptions are still the same, as well as see where the Slavs stack up these days after their recent farming nerf. I hope you're excited to watch some grass grow, because that's basically what this video is about. Now farming rates of course depend on upgrades, specifically wheelbarrow and handcart. The values with those techs are the same as they've always been, with wheelbarrow giving a big 14% increase to farming rate and handcart adding about half that much. That relatively small increase for handcart has always been a bit confusing, since it lets villagers carry 50% more and move 10% faster. So it should theoretically be doing at least as much as wheelbarrow, but for some suspicious reason, in practice, it doesn't. In comparison, Slavs have a Civ bonus advertised as a plus 10% farming boost, and in practice it's actually more than that, especially in the early game. It is a little bit lower than it was before the nerf when it was advertised as plus 15%, but before handcart it works out to be less of a drop than that would imply. It's safe to say they still have the best late game farmers, but are no longer the best in the early game. For that we need to go to the Aztecs, who are another odd one I like to check in on. Their villagers have a hidden farming bonus from their extra carry capacity. Since farmers only gather food while they're stopped, any increase to their carry capacity leads to less time spent walking to drop off food, and means a greater proportion of their time is actually spent working. Before wheelbarrow they actually collect faster than slobs, but that drops off pretty quickly after wheelbarrow. In fact, handcart adds basically nothing to their farming, and they seem to hit the same maximum everyone else has of a little over 24 food per minute. Now their Mesoamerican counterparts, the Mayans, also got a boost somewhere along the line that I must have missed. Traditionally, something about their longer lasting resources bonus meant they had a slower farming rate than everyone else. In testing it now though, I found that's no longer the case before wheelbarrow and after handcart. I don't remember seeing this change in a patch note, but it's a nice little improvement to their early game. And finally, I wanted to check the Berbers, who have faster walking villagers. Early on, they do get a slight uptick in their farming rate, but in the long run, as villagers carry more, the effect disappears. Again, after handcart, they seem to hit around the same cap that everyone else does, making that look like a hard-coded maximum farming rate for everyone except Slavs. If we want to get super technical, Chinese plus 45 food per farms increases their collection rate overall by 0.1 to 0.6%, and Spanish faster building villagers should also get something in that range. The Incas team bonus also gives them a slight increase of around 0.5 to 1.3%. So those are the farming rates at the start of 2020 in Definitive Edition. Basically, Slavs are still great, Aztecs are great in the early game, and Mayans aren't as bad anymore. That's all for this one though, happy farming, and I'll see you next time.